All right, so hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Today, I'm gonna to be putting a wig on my head. Yup, I bought a new wig uh, off Amazon. What's it called? I don't know, but I'll tell you here in a second. I, it's not, uh, it just says, it's an 18 inch T-part curly lace front wig, human hair, 13 by one by four inch middle part, kinky curly lace front human hair wig for black woman, natural hair color. And I got 18 inch and it was 79, 99, okay? So that's the wig I got, it's a curly wig. This is what it looks like here. It's really pretty. I attempted to bleach the knots, but for some reason these knots don't want to be bleached. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone. We'll probably just apply concealer and like pluck the heck out of this part. Not the part, the part is okay. Pluck the heck out of this hairline because the hairline isn't pre plucked. I mean yeah, the hairline isn't pre plucked. We'll see. I'll figure something out, but First things first, I need to get my spray. Okay, okay, I'm back. So, a few things that I'm gonna be using to do this style. Of course, the hair. I'm gonna be using a blow dryer. I'm gonna be using the this, just to wipe my hair out with alcohol. Um, I have this wig cap. I have some got to be glue spray. And I got this um, floss pick. I'm gonna use this in to like, you know, lay the glue down. So I don't use, cause I had to ruin the comb doing that. So I figured I could just throw this thing away. I'm gonna be using tweezers to pluck the hairline a little bit. And then of course the comb, this comb is all jacked up. But we're gonna be using that. And then some, oh I'm out of breath. Some Ghost Bond glue, I love this glue. It's really good. So, let's get started. So first thing, this isn't really a tutorial, but this is just what I do, what I've learned throughout the times I've been wearing wigs. So I have a mirror behind me, by the way, if you can't tell, I'm in my bathroom, which you probably can't tell. Also, I slicked my hair down yesterday. Perk about having short hair, you can just brush the thing down. And it's flat, don't gotta worry about braiding it or nothing. So I'm really wiping it, like literally like the whole area, just in case, you know, cause I did put some oil on my hair on my scalp yesterday. Now, I'll let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this wig cap. And let's put that on. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut out the faces from my eye. All right, y'all, I know I look crazy, but trust the process. So I cut holes for my eyes so I can see what I'm doing and I cut holes around my ears like this. And then what I'm gonna do is just go in and spray. Oof. Oh! I'm gonna blow dry it on cool air. So we're gonna do it on cool, low, and I'm gonna hit the cold shot just to make sure. I'm just gonna take my scissors. You should look something like this. Look like you're bald, but you're really not. All right, we're cooking with grease. Ooh, this thing is tight. 
Okay, so yeah, this hairline. Who baby? Who baby? I probably gotta pull this back some over here. This too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is that too? No, that's actually okay. It's some pretty curls. I probably should have did it longer, but I kind of like this left. This left is okay for the summer. And actually, this party space doesn't look bad at all. I could just apply some concealer or whatever and be Gucci. All right, so I put my hair back in a little ponytail here, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this wig down. So to do this, pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to apply some dots on my forehead right in front of the wig cap, and then I'm just going to spread them out, and then I'm going to going with the blow dryer to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna blow the wig down and apply that pressure literally I'm gonna take the um, comb and press it the wig down to my head So to go ahead and dry it down so it's tacky, I'm going to go ahead and use the same settings. I'm going to put it on cool, low, and I'm going to hit the cold shot button just to make sure that it is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry until it's like clear and then I'm going to apply another layer. Yeah. So it's not all the way dry. Well, you don't want it to be all the way dry, but it's um, still a little white. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down on my head. Then I'm gonna take this comb and just push down on the hairline. So after I do this, I'm gonna go with the blow dryer on the same settings on cool. Ooh, ooh, something by on cool. And just wherever I'm, I have the comb, I'm gonna go in and he's gonna touch me. I'm gonna go in and blow, blow that area with the blow dryer. So here we go. secure right now so what I'm gonna do is take my little head scarf and apply that on the hairline and I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit while it's sitting I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna cut the, the excess parts of this lace off and I'm gonna go ahead while it's sitting and just charge my battery so when I come back I don't have to worry about my camera die. So I'm just gonna cut this excess lace off so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're good to go. I'll be back. All right, y'all, my lips dry. But, um, so it's the next day. Um, last night I didn't finish this wig. It looks crazy, I know. We're gonna fix all of this, okay? And, only thing about this wig that I don't like, but I can live with, is like the fact that it is a T-part wig. So I should have known, I should have known that it was gonna be like this. But so pretty much, like, really the only space that I like have to work with it without showing tracks. The tracks go all the way up here to the front. So the only let me make sure my mic is off. My mic on. Yes. So the only um, space I really have to work with is a little, just a little bit in the front. So, let's see. 
No dryer keeps stopping, man. That's so annoying. So I really don't have a lot of space to work with as far as plucking and customizing and all that. Cause like literally it's like just the slightest bit, like you guys can see, like it's just, it's the slightest bit covering up the tracks. Can you guys see that? I don't know. I don't have a viewfinder and I don't know what, what I'm looking at. I don't know what y'all are looking at, but yeah. So that's the only thing I really don't like about the wig. The wig is nice. It's nice quality. Um, that's just the only thing that doesn't sit well with me. So I've been trying to, I've been working on trying to pluck a little bit just so it's not as um, dense. But if I pluck too much, the airline is gonna be gone, <laughs> you know? So, and then it makes it hard it makes it really hard. I don't know if I can hear me breathing real hard, but I'm sorry if you do. I mean, I mean it, doesn't, it doesn't look horrible, but you can tell it's a wig. Like, you can tell. So, I don't know. Like, it's curly hair too, so it's gonna tangle. I don't know why I'm treating it like it's not curly hair. But like, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Like, it's not something that I can't, you know, finesse. I could, I could finesse it, of course. I could, I could finesse it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out these little pieces here for my, um, my ear pieces. Little curls, so they can hang down right here. And I'm gonna put the rest of this hair back into this little scrunchie. And then I'm going to pluck some more of the hairs out here. I don't really know if y'all can see what I'm doing, but y'all can probably get an idea. I'm just plucking the hairs out. And then every once in a while, I'll go and comb through and release those hairs that I plucked. And eventually, I'm going to go in here and just go ahead and cut this lace off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off and I'm going to use my eyebrow razor here. Just going to cut this. That's what we got. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in and like take out some hairs that I will use for the um, baby hairs. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these hanging down just like this. And then I'm gonna go in with the Dacity, spray it on the lace here and on the hairs that I have designated for the edges. <laughs> so I don't know where my camera stopped, but Pretty much all I did was I laid down my baby ears. I laid, I, I got them out. I plucked them a little bit. I plucked the sideburns a little bit, and then I, I sprayed with some God's Blee on the lace, and then I put the scarf on, and then I took my razor and I just cut 
the baby hairs, you know, and stuff out of my way. And then I cut my sideburns so everything could be complacent. And then when I take the scarf off after a little bit, then I'm going to go ahead and fix them up. But for right now, I'm just getting them out of my way. So, yeah, I don't know where my camera cut off at. I don't know. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with this camera. I got a new camera. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. It stops for some reason. And it won't tell me that it stops unless I look and I see that it stopped. So, hopefully that, 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 um, hopefully that footage recorded everything. If not, I just explained it to y'all. So, I'll be back. I'm gonna let this set for a little bit. I'm gonna do some straightening up around the house. And I'll be back to show y'all the rest of the process. I'm out of breath. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, so check it out. I did a couple things, ran a few errands. You know, my subway, I got some subways calling my name. So we're gonna have to hurry this up, chop, chop. So pretty much it's been on my head for a good while, the scarf. So now it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good despite my edges. Let me get those together. I could pluck them some more for real. They're still a little too dark. So let's do that. I'm watching my camera to make sure it don't shut off again. These are mighty long. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna short, I'm gonna short them a little bit. Don't ask me why I keep talking like that because I don't know. And just a little bit, just a little bit. Now I'm just gonna spray my, Oh, it's chaos. I'm gonna spray the brush directly with the got to be and just go to town. I guess. So, this is what we got. Let me see. So, I'm combing the hair out, but then I'm going to go. I'm probably not going to wet it tonight. I'm probably going to wet it tomorrow and stuff and style it just because I'm not going nowhere tonight. So, but I'm going to comb it out. Of course, it's curly hair. So, it's going to look crazy. I look crazy, but y'all trust the process, okay? Trust the process. And we got some hair coming out, probably from the hair that I, um, probably from the hair that I plucked out some. I probably didn't get it all out. So this is what we got for right now. This one day video turned into a three day video because I'm not styling this hair tonight. I'm about to put it back in this ponytail. I'm gonna get this part situated. And then I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow, we're going to fix it up. I'm about to wrap this bad boy back up. Bad. And call it a night. Bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. Where you going? What you doing, little boy? You messing up your room? Look at what his daddy got him for his birthday. You cool now, huh? Where you at? You cool now, huh? <laughs> Got him a projector. You cool now, huh? His room dirty. I know. They've seen his room dirty before. <laughs> this is not supposed to be a vlog, y'all. But you know, my, my son does to be on camera, even though he ran away. Get some more of this footage for y'all. So I'm about to wrap my hair. Oh shoot! I want to get this part together. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. This is what we're gonna do. I got my concealer. 
that's kind of like the same color as my skin tone. And I'm just gonna put that on the part. For some reason, they wanna keep stop recording. Good thing I won't do one now. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm gonna spray it a little. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put this scarf on. You back? Oh, you come to take a chair? You come to take a chair? I thought you was coming to get your chair. I'm just gonna put this scarf on my head, wrap it around, bring it around. And then I'm about to go enjoy my subway. That's all I'm doing for right now. I'll check back in with y'all in the morning or like whenever I decide to do my hair. Probably sometime in the afternoon because I'm not getting up in the morning because I'm off tomorrow. He took his chair. Because I'm off tomorrow and I'm not getting up around. I'm sick of getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning to be on my computer at 9. Sick of it. That's why I chose a night shift because no sir. Anyway, this time I'm going to sleep. These are not even at all. This time I'm going to sleep, y'all. I'll be back up here, like I said, tomorrow to get this thing together. I feel like for me not being a pro, I feel like I'm doing okay. Y'all let me know down below. Yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay, you guys, so good morning. Good afternoon, I mean, it is the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this hair up, style it and stuff. Um, we're supposed to be going out of town today, so I'm gonna go ahead. I've been busy all morning, getting stuff together, fixing up the house a little bit. So we come back, but I gotta come back to a messed up house, you know. Nobody wants that. So, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and separate this into two sections. I'm working on one section at a time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clip this up. And I have my spray bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the hair down. Since it is curly hair, I don't wanna put any heat on it. I have a straight wig for that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wet it down. Not too much though. And la, the curls are bounce back. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this leave-in and this As I Am leave-in conditioner. Gonna put some of that in. Just a little bit, cause, well, I'm almost out of this. That's why I'm using it. But I'm gonna put a little bit, cause this ain't my hair and I actually like that leave-in conditioner, but I wanna style this hair like I would my own, so it'll come out the best. But I think I already had a little bit of that conditioner in my hair in the wig, which is my hair, but it's not my hair at the same time, but it is my hair because I bought it. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this leave-in conditioner. This is Cantu's. Um, these curls are gorgeous. Cantu Shea Butter Define and Shine Custard. Okay, so I'm done with the hair. I'm gonna give you guys a 360 of what it looks like. Here's the back. And if I didn't say it in the in the beginning, this is the 18 inch T part wig. Okay? Alright. This is the back. 
Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, so I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like. So y'all stay tuned. So my hair, it's not fully dry, but it's like 85% dry. It's just a little damp in some areas, but I went in and kind of made it a little, gave it a little more volume because it was kind of flat. I didn't really like that. So I went in and added some volume to it. And this is how it looks. Turned out really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is what the back looks like. It's the back. So yeah, I like it. Um, let me know down below what you guys think. I, if I remember, I will put the link to this wig down below. If anyone's interested in it, if anyone likes it, you can go in my description box, and the link will be there. If I don't forget. Hopefully, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this very chaotic video. I think my husband walked in there now. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this very chaotic video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.